what is going on you guys please excuse the fact that i'm probably looking a little bit rough right now um i actually just woke up a couple of minutes ago um and for whatever reason i decided today was going to be the day that i tried to vlog so here we are i don't exactly know what this is going to look like or how i'm gonna put any of the clips i record kind of like together or anything like that but i kind of just wanted to record a couple clips I just woke up a couple minutes ago and I'm probably gonna go to the gym to get a quick lift in. Um, but then after that, I think I'm gonna hit up the tailor to get a pair of pants altered. And then also I think I wanna, I think I wanna pop up to Wicker Park for a little bit to do some window shopping. There's this pair of 316 pants that I've been eyeballing for a couple of weeks now. And there's a store that I think that might have them in stock. So I kind of wanna go check them out in person. Um, who knows, I might, cop them if they have them in stock and I like them um, or I might just try them on for size and kind of sit on it and then I might order them online um, later on or something I don't know but either way um, I'm just gonna sip on this coffee for a little bit and then once I get up the courage to go outside in the Chicago winter um, I'm gonna head out to the gym so I will catch up with you guys in a bit here Yo, just popped back at the crib, so I figured I would check in with you guys for a second. We had a quick little lift session today, nothing too crazy. Then I got a bite to eat at this little bagel shop um, near the gym. And then I finally dropped off this pair of pants that I'd been meaning to get tailored for the longest. Um, I'll probably insert another clip just to give a little bit more context on like what I got like altered on the pair of pants, but it was basically just a pair of vintage Lee, like off-white cream pair of pants that I really love the color of them and like the feel to them but the in terms of fit it was just a little bit too big and too long on me so wanted to get them altered really quickly so drop that off um, I should be able to pick it up in a week's time so next Saturday um, but now I think I'm gonna head up to Wicker Park for a little bit um, there's a couple of shops that I want to hit up and um, I think I mentioned earlier that I was looking for a pair of 316 pants. So hopefully, fingers crossed that they have them in stock because I would really love to try them on. So we shall see um, if you guys are trying to see the fit. For today's fit, nothing too, too crazy. Uh, I've just got the Solomons on feet. Um, this pair of like New Balance track pants that I got from TJ Maxx, low key. Um, Underneath, I've got this like vintage wool sweater. Um, I showed this off in my last video, so go peep that if you haven't seen it. On top, just like a little little black North Face piece. And then gotta have the tote bag, just a little, little Noah thing. And that's pretty much the fit. Um, it's winter time in Chicago, so honestly, it's kind of hard to get fits off sometimes um, if you're just trying to dress warm. But I don't know, this is what we're working with today. Yeah. 
It is. Are you selling the jacket? Yeah. What? See the suede here. So back at the crib from a pretty successful day of running around and doing some shopping. Um, the one store I wanted to go to, Mild Blend, to check out those 316 pants I was talking about earlier. Unfortunately, they were actually closed today. Um, apparently due to like some kind of a like theft incident that happened earlier today. Um, definitely a huge bummer. Um, really hate hearing stuff like that happen to just cool independent stores that are just trying to get by. So. I mean, I don't know, that's definitely just like a really shitty thing to happen. Um, so I guess I'll definitely have to come back another day to check out those pants. Um, but after that, I ended up hitting a couple of different uh, vintage stores up. Um, one spot that I had never been to, and I'm blanking on the name right now, but they had a lot of really cool stuff. Um, I'm sure you probably already saw the clips already, but I tried on this really cool um, kind of vintage-ish um, engineered garments Bedford jacket. That was really cool. It was only for $75 too, which was a pretty crazy price for EG. Um, I would have gotten it, but it did have kind of a very noticeable um, sun bleach stain on the sleeve. So I didn't end up getting that, but I did end up getting this super fire um, mohair cardigan. Um, it's very like, kind of needles vibes or like that Kurt Cobain sweater that he's wearing in the MTV Unplugged set. It's very much uh, that kind of vibe. 
Um, really love the sweater. Um, after that, I hit up this really cool art gallery that I'd never been into. Um, the staff there were super friendly, super nice. They were telling me about all the different local artists that they support and that they, um, I guess, feature in their store or in their gallery, I should say. Um, yeah, they had a lot of just like really cool, um, like black photographers, um, stuff like that. After the art gallery, I went to Arcteryx just to kind of look around. Didn't didn't cop anything, but always cool to hit up uh, the Arky store. Um, I also hit up Myopic Books, which is a fire bookstore in Wicker Park as well. Um, they had a really cool Black Panther uh, photo book that I'm really tempted to go back and buy, but I didn't get it today, but it was really sick. Um, and then the last store that I wanted to go to was RSVP Gallery, but fortunately they did have a line out the door and I just was not down to uh, wait outside in the cold, just the window shop. So after that, I ended up just heading back home. Um, I did end up getting a fire um, ashtray from this really cool antique store on the way home. Was not expecting to buy this, but I saw it and I had to get it. So here that is. Now I'm just kind of chilling at the crib, sipping some wine until my dinner reservation. Um, the GF and I are going to go check out a new restaurant that's like down the street from me that we've been meaning to try for quite a while. Uh, it's called Cerise's Table, if you're familiar with that. Um, it's in the Lakeview neighborhood in Chicago. Um, they've got like pastas and like pizzas and stuff like that. And they do have a Michelin star, so it should be pretty good. I guess we will see what, what this is talking about. Um, but before we go, I guess I'll just show you guys my fit and I will catch up with you guys later. And just the fit for dinner. Sorry about the lighting. I know it's kind of crappy right now, but for dinner, I just threw on this pair of vintage black Levi's orange tabs. Please excuse the slippers. Um, <laughs> I'm probably going to be wearing a pair of Doc Martens with these, obviously not wearing these to dinner. Um, Uniqlo white tee, and then I've got on that mohair cardigan that I picked up earlier today, and that's the fit.